Thanks. Uh, I didn't really know I was going to be doing this until about uh, two days ago. Uh, I want to agree with what Elliot said and uh, in pretty much every particular. Mark was probably the greatest natural talent it's ever been my pleasure to see and know. Um, but I wrote this uh, after spending a lot of time working on something that just wasn't coming and and I just threw it down and five seconds later this came literally the way that I'm going to read it uh, like 15 minutes. This is perfect. I think Mark was looking over my shoulder or something. I don't know. Anyway, for Mark Bradley on the occasion of 50. So many years on, there is no more grief at your going. Only an empty space full of wonder and why. The body is gone. Sure, it is a loss, no less than any other, yet you're so big still. Why? Whitman in fairy-bound body long considered you and shared sense of place and time, but transcended them in the telling. Before the body and after, language lives, artifact of actual being among being, and the poet knows it true. All goes onward and outward. Nothing collapses. Death does not take, but that it transforms. E-cats exactly. <laughs> True son of Whitman, you, the poet, you, your language, a being built beyond you, there then to this now. What is more subtle than this which tied you to the man or woman that looked in your face, which fuses you into us now and passes your meaning into us? All goes onward and outward. Nothing collapses. And to die is different from what anyone supposed, and luckier. The body is gone. Long live the man transformed, advancing now clad in the language of song, filling empty inside with red-hot ripping energy that carries on and on and on. Twenty years later, Mark. Twenty years, you motherfucker. Twenty years, and we're still singing along.